there's so so much peace here. I mean, for me, I, I walk in and I'm in this space, and there is this real sense of peace here. How do you how do you feel? How is that? How is it created in an, in an area such as this? Where does that peace come from? I think it's all the the sisters that have lived here over time. I think that the, her presence is very strong here, and I think the women that followed her as well. They worked in very difficult times, um, and I think that's been carried through throughout. We've uh, this is this was uh, well, it still is the mother house of the Sisters of Saint Joseph, um, and um, we have said. You know, this is open now to the public. So there are very few sisters that live here. Um, we have a few that have continued to live here, but it used to be the novitiate, which was the training place for women to become sisters. We currently have one uh, woman now who is here with us now on that journey. Um, so I think it's, um, that's kind of, um, spirituality which I can't explain but it's also the people that are here now. For me you were talking about her um, magnetism really with her um, yeah. charisma Yes. and that people were drawn to her Yes. and that for me and you're talking about sort of a presence here which her presence here so yeah it's um, based on my own, this is my understanding and my, my opinion from my own journey as I've released trauma and allowed my heart to expand out there yes. that when we put at the center of our organization giving and receiving which is our representation of love yes. this exchange between two individuals but equally two parts of ourselves and, and yes. for me this love and hate relationship I had going on because of my trauma there's an energy here for me I yeah. would call it an energy of yeah. peace and an energy of yeah. certainly love which is embodied almost in yeah. in everything here yeah. it feels yeah, it's wonderful yeah. to hear that you say that because I think when sometimes we take things for granted and because we live and work here and we're caught up with the day-to-day -day running and operations of the place, we sometimes do forget that and you know when someone goes, oh it's so peaceful, it's so beautiful, you know, what, what is it? But yeah, it is, it is being open to that opportunity, you know, and through your own um, trauma and your own experience you know once you come to saying okay it's happened to me but what 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 choice do I have to move forward you know how will I move forward with it it makes a difference on how, yeah, which road you take yeah yeah, yeah choice that's true yeah. and do you have all, all the religions coming here for people from all walks of life you do have a different um, religions coming uh, but not the majority would be Catholic people that come, but certainly we have, um, and we do want to others to come, anyone, you know, to come and to experience. But, um, sometimes people do say, look, I'm not a Catholic, well, I'll come to the chapel door and say, I'm not a Catholic, or mm. someone that doesn't matter, come. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't have to be, and we, we want the doors to be open to everybody. Yeah. And we have had, you know, uh, we have a, have a, a, a beautiful story of a, of a Muslim family that um, visited here and um, the child was quite ill and um, has been healed and they come back each year around his birthday and celebrate mm. the birthday well this is quite powerful that's stuff amazing. you know you just think yeah that's lovely so we do have uh, visitors but we don't always ask where they're from or, or who they are when um, uh, Coca-Cola building opposite yeah. here was being yeah. built, which oh, it's it's... taken our sunshine. <laughs> um, there were a lot of workers around the place, and um, yeah. and uh, people would walk up and down the hill into the into the chapel and down again, you know, and and elderly and the sick, and you know, it, where it's an effort to come. And uh, mm. anyway, this guy turned up at the door one day and had his you know working gear on and just sort of stood there and and. Uh, I think it was, might have been Carmel that said, oh, you can come in. He said, oh, I'm all dirty. And he said, oh, that's okay, you know, don't worry. You know, God doesn't mind if you're dirty or not. You know, <laughs> just come in and have a look. And he said, oh, oh, I just, he said, something's, something's happened to him. And um, he said, and I just, and it was good. And he said, I just want to say thank you to some, and he said, I'm not a believer, but he said, I just felt the need to come in and say thank you for what's happened in my life. And like that kind of when Carmel was telling us that story, we were just sort of blown away where he obviously was in, 
inspired somehow by the people who were visiting that thought there's something in there that I need to go in. It was quite lovely, so, you know, so it's nice to hear those sorts of stories.